ankle injuries happen every day. Usually, ankle sprain heals in a few weeks. Hmm, that's current practice. But according to orthopedic guidelines, injured ligament can take up more than one year to heal. No wonder so many people have re-sprain. Statistics shows around one in three patients got re-injury. Worse. With many developing chronic instability or OA, because no rehab after pain is gone, so international consensus urge for functional rehab early and throughout all phases to ensure optimal tissue restoration, meaning to restore alignment, strength, and stability of the ankle joint. Um, painkillers, bandage, brace, rest, ice. Is not optimal. The problem is rest. Longer periods of unloading are harmful and produces irreversible adverse changes of ligament. Oh, with loading, ligament heals in parallel, so it heals stronger. Without loading, it becomes like cooked noodles. That's the reason for ankle instability. Exactly. That's why BJSM 2012 called for. Price needs updating. Should we call the police to replace rest with optimal loading? Now, thou shall load is a guideline, meaning we must load to ensure optimal tissue restoration. Clinician would all agree, but with pain and edema, how? The key of optimal loading is protected use within pain-free range. Functional walker. Enable the injured limb to be used while protected. It's clinically proven and perfectly safe. Ah,、oh, the air cells in the brace milk away the edema, so pain and swollenness are reduced. Patient can partial weight bear and start gait training immediately post-op and progress throughout rehab. The key is. While injured ankle is protected, non-injured part should keep moving. So, when patient is off walker, less muscle weakness and joint stiffness. So, patient not only heal faster and stronger, but also less risk of re-injury. How can we know if patient can return to sport? Ankle functional stability should be assessed before return to sport. But traditional assessment like this are not functional enough. It is more effective to assess patient stability, mobility, coordination on dynamic surface, like on Hoover 360, based on individual patient's goal and capacity. Clinician can set up progressive exercise programs to achieve patient's goals step by step. What else can help patients safely return to sport? Functional bracing and neuromuscular training are proven to be most effective. Remember, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's why we need continuum of care.